Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This lesson is all about the vision of fractions. Example, you have a 5 6 meter of string. How many pieces can you cut the string into if each string is a 1 12th meter? What are the given? In this problem, 5 6 and 1 12. Which of these two is our dividend? And which of these two is our divisor? So we have 5 6 as our dividend and 1 12 as our divisor. Why do we need to identify which one is dividend and which one is divisor? Because it is important for later we have to follow the steps wherein we need to get the reciprocal of our divisor. What did I say? Reciprocals. Let's review first. What are reciprocals? Reciprocals when the product of two fractions is equal to one and each fraction is called a reciprocal of the other. Example, the reciprocal of 5 eighths is 8 fifths. Why 8 fifths? Because if you're going to multiply the two, we'll get the product of 1. And so let's try to multiply. Okay, in multiplication of fractions, we can just uh, simply cancel if there's something to cancel. So we can cancel 8 and 8, that will give us 1. And then 5 and 5, that's give it us 1. And 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, or 1. So it means the reciprocal of 5 eighths is 8 fifths. Okay, first step, we will write 5 6 divided by 1 over 12. Then, we need to change the divisor to its reciprocal. So what is the reciprocal of 1 12? 1 12. What are we going to multiply to 1 12 in order for us to get product of 1? So it means we'll multiply it to 12 over 1. We can cancel this. That's 1, 1. So 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1 or 1. So it means uh, the reciprocal of the divisor which we have here is 1 12 is 12 over 1. So we'll just put 12 over 1. Then we change the division sign to multiplication sign and then we'll just copy 5 6. So that's it. We will just multiply. Then let's go to multiplication. Is there something that we can cancel? Yes, we can cancel 6 and then 12. What number can we divide both numbers? We can divide it by 6. This become 6 divided by 6 is 1. 12 divided by 6 is 2. That makes our um, calculation simple. So 5 times 2 is equal to 10 and then 1 times 1 is equal to 1 or 10. Therefore, there are 10 pieces of 1 12th meter we can cut from 5 6 meter of string. So that's it. So easy. Another example, Noi Noi, Tri Toy, and Koi Koi are brothers. They equally shared one half of a pizza. What part of the pizza did each of them get? Are we given? We have one half and then three brothers. So we need to identify which is the divisor and which is the dividend. So we have one half as our dividend. And the divisor for this case is the three. Let us now solve the problem. We have one half divided by three. It means we need to change our divisor to its reciprocal. Our reciprocal for 3 is, so what number are we going to multiply to 3? 
But of course, we have to remember that any whole number has a denominator of 1. So we can put 3 over 1. What number are we going to multiply to 3 over 1 that will give us a product of 1? So we will just multiply it into 1 third and then we can cancel. 3 and 3. Cancel, cancel. This become 1 and 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1 or 1. So it means our reciprocal for 3 over 1 is 1 third. Now we can write 1 half. Then we have to change the division sign to multiplication sign. And we can write reciprocal of our divisor which is 1 third. Now we can proceed to multiplication. We can now multiply. 1 times 1 is equal to 1. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Is 1 6 already in lowest term? Yes. So our final answer is 1 6. It means each of these boys get 1 6 of the pizza. Another example. Don has 10 meters room which he plans to use in his art projects. Suppose each project needs 4 fifths meters. How many art projects can he make? Our given 10 meters and then 4 fifths meters. Which of these two is our divisor and which of these two is our dividend? So our dividend is 10 meters. And our divisor is 4 fifths meter. We can now rewrite the solution and we can have 10 over 1. And then we change our division sign to multiplication sign. And then we can change our divisor to its reciprocal. What is the reciprocal of 4 fifths? What number are we going to multiply to 4 fifths in order to get the product of 1? So we can just multiply 5 fourths. This, we can cancel this. It's become 1. Cancel this. It's become 1 and 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1 or 1. So it means the reciprocal of 4 fifths is 5 fourths. So we'll write 5 fourths in here. Then we can proceed to multiplication. We can now proceed to multiplication. But then, is there something that we can cancel? Yes, we have 10 and 4. What number can we divide 10 and 4? That's 2. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Okay, we can now multiply. 5 times 5 is equal to 25. 1 times 2 is equal to 2. So our answer is an improper fraction. We can change this one to the mixed number. We'll divide 25 and then 2. How many 2's are there in 2? It's 1. 1 times 2 is 2. So minus, that's 0. Bring down 5. How many 2's are there in 5? That's 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Then we can subtract 5 minus 4 is 1. So there are 12 and 1 half. But we are asked how many art projects. So we are asked to give a whole number. The final answer is he can make 12 art projects. Let us have some exercises. Never mind my background because it's raining. We have Baguio right now. So but then we can still proceed with this. We have 2 thirds divided by 2 and 1 half. In this case, we still need to follow the same step. We can copy this. 2 thirds, then change the division sign to multiplication sign. Then the divisor should be changed to its reciprocal. But in this case, we have a mixed number. We cannot change the mixed number right away to its reciprocal but then we have to change the mixed number to improper fraction first 
then from that we can give the reciprocal so let's change this two and one half to its improper fraction how to do that we can do multiplications and then addition 2 times 2 is equal to 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 then copy 2 5 halves is equal to 2 and 1 half in mixed number so the 5 halves we have to change it to its reciprocal so what fraction can we multiply to 5 halves to give us a product of 1 so we'll just multiply to 2 fifths so let's see if the answer is 1 if the product is 1 so we can cancel this we can cancel 1 1 cancel 1 1 so 1 over 1 or 1 it means let's go back to this 1 2 thirds times what is the reciprocal of 5 halves that is 2 fifths is there something that we can cancel before we proceed to multiplication i think we don't have something to cancel we just it means we'll just proceed to multiplication 2 times 2 is equal to 4 3 times 5 is equal to 15 it means our final answer is 4 fifteenths. another one what if we have 6 divided by 1 and 1 half still the same we follow the steps we'll copy 6 then change the division sign to multiplication sign then change the divisor to its reciprocal but we cannot proceed right away to that step because we what we have here is a mixed number we need to change this mixed number first to its improper fraction then from improper fraction we can get the reciprocal okay one and one half what is it in improper fraction we'll just times and then add or multiply then add one times two is equal to two plus one is equal to three then copy 2. This is our mixed number to improper fraction. So the improper fraction we can change or we can give or we can get the reciprocal of that number. So what's the reciprocal of 3 halves? What fraction we're going to multiply to 3 halves to get a product of 1? So the answer is 2 thirds. Can cancel this cancel cancel that's one it's one cancel cancel that's one and one you will get one over one or one what is the reciprocal of three halves that's two thirds so we can write two thirds here where um, we can also have this whole number with denominator we can put it six over one then we is there something we can cancel that's six and then three to make things easier for us to multiply so what number can we divide both six and three that's three so six divided by three is two three divided by three is one so we can now proceed to multiplication two times two is equal to four 1 times 1 is equal to 1. So 4 divided by 1 is equal to 4. So our final answer is 4. Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!